later especially, and also some rain. What's happening is we've got a transient ridge of high pressure, so the fog that we have will be slow to lift. Some of it will just lift into low cloud. And we also have this set of fronts coming in from the west, bringing in rain and southerly winds. And the wind will strengthen later, as I mentioned, although pretty gusty in the southwest at the moment, across areas adjacent to the Irish Sea. And the rain will also come in, especially so up the west coast. Now, the fog lifting into some low cloud travelling northwards as well, but essentially eastern areas will be drier and brighter. Some of us seeing some sunshine and temperatures 6 in Aberdeen, 10 in Plymouth. But if you're stuck under the fog, it will peg the temperature back. Now, as we head through the evening and overnight, the rain crosses all areas. It's going to be a windy night, but the strongest winds will be in the west. We could well see gales around the Outer Hebrides, the Western Isles as well. And Temperature-wise, well, behind this wet weather, we'll see some drier conditions come in. So this is what you can expect in towns and cities. So tomorrow, we've got our first front going east, our second front going north. Still breezy and still coming up from the south. Now, that is a mild direction for us. Normally, you'd expect to see the blue colours on our air mass chart at this time of year, the blue colours denoting colder weather. But we're looking at yellows and ambers. So tomorrow, when the rain clears, we'll have showers following in behind, some of them merging to give longer spells of rain. But it's the temperatures tomorrow that will be of note, because for all of us, we're looking at double figures. And for some of us, really high for the time of year, up to about 14 degrees in London. Dan and Lou. So much, Carol. We'll see you later. Thank you. Uh, last month, more than 300 gymnasts. I think you might.